compression damper, aggressively absorb the recoil, return the gun to battery after each shot, and put your crosshairs right back on target. The dead eye gives a shooter an opportunity to accurately deliver a high volume of rapid fire on multiple targets, shot after shot. Guns designed on the AR platform have several unique features. The float tube forward, the stock with no drop at the heel, the pistol grip, and the ability to accommodate high capacity magazines. The dead eye has been designed to complement these characteristics. The dead eye works equally well with bolt and semi-auto guns. In a manner similar to our 10 ring reciprocating shooting rest, the dead eye uses our patented spring and compression damper technology to progressively absorb the recoil, return the gun to battery, and keep your crosshairs right on the target, shot after shot after shot. To fit your gun to the rest, first lay the gun up in the V-notch, fasten the three forward restraining straps, then take the large recoil transfer strap, put it on the pins, around the butt of the gun, make sure it's securely on the pins, pull the gun back so it's seated firmly on the strap, and then finally snug up the three restraining straps. From the factory, the dead eye comes equipped with two yellow springs, each providing two pounds of resistance for inch of travel, two red springs, each providing four pounds of resistance for inch of travel, and two blue springs, each providing four pounds of resistance per inch of travel. In addition, factory installed with a compression damper to provide 17 foot-pounds of progressive resistance. If you want more or less compression damper resistance, 11 and 22 pound compression dampers are available as options on the replacement parts list. The transport, storage, or the times when you want to lock the rest in a fixed position, there are two adjustable and removable elevation lockups at the rear, and one pivoting lockup that threads right in here. The storage position for the pivoting lockup knob is right here. Different guns have different balance characteristics. To change the balance of the rest, first remove the upper assembly, remove the bench grip, rotate the base 180 degrees, now reattach the bench grip from the other end, take the upper assembly, mount it to the base, like this. And you're in business. Changing springs, etc., is an easy process. Simply remove the two retaining nuts in front of the rest. Go to the rear of the rest. Remove the rear compression damper retaining nut. Put a little tension against the springs on the upper carrier here. Elevate the eye of the damper over the stud. Now move the entire carrier assembly forward, rotate it, and remove it. Now you can access the forward mounting stud for the gas spring. Undo the nut, and you're done. Replace the carrier assembly and the damper. First, mount the shaft end of the damper to the forward mounting stud on the carrier. Tighten the nut two complete revolutions. Now, supporting the damper with one hand, engage the two forward tubes over the two forward pins about one quarter of an inch. Once you do that, the two rear tubes will drop ahead of the two rear pins, and you can push the entire assembly back against the spring tension, 
Put the eye of the damper over the mounting stud. Put the nut in place and tighten it. Now go back, take your wrench, and tighten the forward mounting nut on the damper so that it's flush with the end of the stud. The only thing left to do is to put your retaining nuts in place and you're in business. The foam pads on the V-notches have been specially designed and located to easily clear swivel studs. Other features of the rest include an adjustable bench grip arm, which transfers recoil to the rest of the bench, lockable leveling jacks, one on each side in the front, and a vile spirit level. This large lock nut does two things. First, by making it tighter or looser, you can adjust the drag on the swivel function. Second, it allows access to the bearing. On occasion, the bearing may require cleaning and lubrication. Use an ammonia water solution, then air dry. For lubricant, you can use either light machine oil, like sewing machine oil, or you can use bearing grease. 